Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very um, exciting one. It's my last video in the CoverGirl um, palette series, I guess you could say. So this is the CoverGirl Overthrown palette right here. Super pretty, just like the other ones. Um, these colors are a lot darker and like super nice. As always, I'm going to be doing swatches of these eyeshadows and then I'm going to do a tutorial with the eyeshadow, come up with my own little look. Um, as you guys know, I did not like the look that I came up with with the Ascension palette. And that's not really the palette's fault, that was my fault because I just totally messed it up. Just like the other two videos, I'm going to do the top row first, from my right to my left, and then the bottom row, my right to my left as well. Is it going to focus? Um, Okay, apparently I had to put my hand in the frame for it to focus. That makes no sense, but whatever. So, starting this off, we're going to swatch the shade Dethroned. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, man. Damn. Also super nice. Wow. I don't know why I get shocked when I swatch these palettes like oh okay so if this one's good I'm gonna be shook because this is a matte black and matte black drugstore eyeshadows is so hard to find one that's actually like black and dark so this is called conviction and I'm using my ring finger so the swatch might not be as good as these oh what the that looks so good. I might have to do a smoky eye with this. A bitch is impressed. Whoa. Wow. That's so pretty. I'm impressed. I think this might be my favorite palette out of the whole collection. Whoa. Oh my god. These are pretty. There's kind of like fallout like powder but that's because I'm I'm pretty pretty generous with these swatches you guys um wow pretty so here's the top row and the bottom uh, row is called wreckage Wow. That's nice. Next one I'm super excited about and it's called Swiped. Wow. That's pretty. That is a blue shade right there. I just picked up a little bit more just to see if I could get it more blue. Wow. Wow! Sorry about my busted nails guys. I know they're ugly. That's smoldering. I think I did that swatch really bad. Let me put a little bit more on. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Ooh, man, those mattes are so soft. Like, the shimmers are too, but the mattes are insanely soft. So that's fallen. Just a good little beige moment. Ooh, that's bright. That's nice. So here is the bottom row. Super nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. So those were the swatches. I think I'm gonna wipe them off before I get them all over my white shirt. Those are some good pigmented eyeshadows right there. Like. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm kind of obsessed with these CoverGirl palettes anyways. The only one I wasn't that crazy about was the Ascension palette, and that's mostly because I wasn't really inspired by the colors in it. 
but this one I think is gonna be great. You could create like an everyday smoky eye with it, which I might actually do, like just like a drugstore smoky eye. I get way too out of focus whenever I'm zoom you guys completely in for tutorials. I just can't do it. I just fuck it up every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime me eyelid. So what did you guys think about those swatches? Comment down below, let me know. What's the tea, sis? I think it's one of their best palettes. I'm into like dark shades, like a lot. I'm gonna take that like fallen shade. That one. Boots, shut the f up. Boots, come here. So these shadows do have quite a bit of kickback, which is like not surprising because they are so soft and so pigmented. I feel like that's not that big of a deal. This shade is pretty perfect for a transition shade. I'm gonna do a traditional smoky eye today, like. <laughs> I haven't done one in quite some time. So now I'm gonna take the shade Taken, which is the gray on the top that's a little bit lighter. See that light gray there? And I'm just gonna pretty much put that where that transition-y shade is. Just to give it a kind of smokier effect. I feel like my eyes are really hard to do smoky eyes on. So I have to be careful. Also, you're not supposed to blow into your palette like I've been doing. So just try to disregard that. That looks a little crazy. I might have went a little overboard with it. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take a dense flat brush. This one's like just a more precise brush. I'm gonna take this and take the darker gray shade on the bottom row. Vanquish right there. Please focus. Oh well, if it didn't focus, I'm sorry, you get the point, right? And I'm just gonna put it on the edge right there and a lot of people are like why are you starting with the lightest and going to the darkest well I don't know because I'm different <laughs> all right so I'm taking this really compact really dense brush and I'm taking that black shade conviction and I'm just like getting my brush just like coated in that and I'm just gonna start packing it on oh yes bitch It's okay to have fallout um, as long as you're doing your eye makeup before your foundation. That's typically why I do that. That and I just hate trying to work around my foundation. Like, wow. I went way too far in my inner corner with the black. So I'll show you guys in just a second how you can fix that. That's black for a drugstore, are you kidding? And I didn't even use a sh eyeliner as a base. like. Typically you would, but... So I'm gonna take the really disgusting makeup wipe that I was using earlier, and I'm just gonna wipe the shadow from my inner corner and get rid of... God, I hope I was in frame. And just get rid of where I don't want it, which is like... Right in there. The little brush I went with. And I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of the shadow. Just give it a good blend. Just a good blend. I'm just gonna tap over the edge over here in this corner where I wiped that off just so it's not like a straight like... Wow, I'm really shocked at how black this is. That dense brush again. Just pick up some more of that. And just tap it on. Just to make it even blacker. And don't fret if it goes up into the crease a little bit, that's okay. Take a different fluffy brush. Grab some of that Fallen color, which was like that light transition-y shade we started out with, and just go over the edges. This black sort of like gets everywhere. That's one thing you have to know about working with blacks in general is they're gonna get literally everywhere. So I like smoky eyes that are a little bit like messier, not super like, like cut and structured, you know? 
that's just me. If we do the underneath, it'll tie it together more. But I'm really impressed with this black eyeshadow. Like, that is pretty dope, if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna clean that up a tiny bit. There I off camera, and then I'm gonna do my face makeup and my concealer, and I'll come back to do the lower lash line with you guys. I do circular motions. Kind of while my skin is still pretty damp. Now I have a lot of texture, I'm not ever going to deny that, like, or I'm not ever going to try to hide that. That's just my skin. I'm super textured and highlight does accentuate that and I just want people who watch my videos to know that that's okay, that's normal. Like, if you have textured skin, it is what it is. Like, we're all human. Our skin can't look like photoshopped or like face tuned in like real life and it doesn't usually look like that with anybody <sighs> unless you're like a Kardashian or something and you get hella facials and Botox and I wonder if my camera's been focusing at all probably not all right guys so that's it for my makeup tutorial today on the CoverGirl Overthrown palette. Um, here's the palette. I feel like this look kind of goes with the like the cover here. It's super nice. I think this is one of my favorite looks I've ever done with drugstore eyeshadow. And this is like CoverGirl. So you know this is like drugstore eyeshadow. I don't just like consider this like just any other shadow. You know, it's 100% drugstore. So I think I forgot to film an outro, an outro, <laughs> so I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm in my living room. Sorry the piano music is blaring because this is where I play it off the TV, but I'm so sorry. This is your outro. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, follow my Instagram if you want, Emma Victoria underscore MUA. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!